guys, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. And today we are going to be doing my go-to lunch prep. This is what I do every single week. And this is how I was able to lose all of my pregnancy weight within 10 months after having my son. So I've had two kids and I've lost my pregnancy weight both times and 90% of my success I owe to meal prepping consistently. When you meal prep, the great thing about it is not only are you saving money, you're saving time, you are gonna help yourself achieve your goals because you've already got that great food in the fridge, it's ready to go. So then you're ready to go. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel and don't forget to subscribe and share if you think these tips were helpful. Let's get into the prep video. I am making my favorite go-to lunch. I am prepping for both myself and my husband. Um, so that is the prep that I am doing today. All of the instructions and recipes will be in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And don't forget, your nutrition is by far the one of the biggest indicators of whether or not you'll be successful. If you can rein in your nutrition and if you can buckle down and commit to it and you can prep every single week, I guarantee you'll be successful. I know that it's what's helped me. I hope it helps you guys too. All right, let's get started guys. This is my lunch prep. This is what I do every single week without fail. I always prep for my lunches. This is what has helped me lose all of the pregnancy weight that I gained, almost 50 pounds, with my son. Um, and this is by far the biggest tip I can give you is to prep. So I've got myself some chicken breast here I got from my local store. It was on sale so it did not come trimmed so I just grabbed some meat cutting shears and I am trimming off all of the fat from the chicken breast um, being really careful obviously and if this grosses you out maybe you can have your husband or someone else help you do this but I'm just trimming off all of the fat of my chicken and I'm going to put these in the crock pot to cook. This makes it really, really easy. I can literally load this thing up, set it on low and cook all day, and it's going to cook the chicken perfectly every single time. I hate when my chicken dries out. I can't eat dried out chicken. So the crock pot is really the only way I can prep my chicken personally to my liking. It shreds up really well. So I'm just gonna load everything up here. I'm gonna grab some seasonings. I'm going to take my favorite pink Himalayan sea salt and I'm just gonna sprinkle that all over the chicken, a very generous amount, um, however much you want. I love the Himalayan salt personally. It's my favorite to use when um, slow cooking the chicken. Now I'm gonna just grab some ground black pepper, sprinkle that all over in there to get me a good peppery taste. This one has a little bit of a spice to it, which I like, some people don't like that. Whatever kind of pepper you want will do. Then I've got my garlic. I cannot make chicken without garlic. You could also use a Mrs. Dash, um, the no salt seasonings. I love those too, I just ran out. So I'm using what I've got in my cabinet. I am also going to grab some Italian seasoning and sprinkle that in there as well. Being healthy, you guys, does not mean that you have to sacrifice the flavor. I love flavor. As you can see here, I am putting a generous helping of all of my seasonings on my chicken. I want it to be well coated and really well seasoned because it cooks up so well in the slow cooker this way. It's really, really, really gonna set it up well. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of water in there. That's gonna create a little bit of a steam pot going and this chicken is going to cook on low. It is gonna be delicious, it's gonna be moist and perfect for my prep. And now I am going to grab an onion. I'm just gonna throw a few slices of onion in there and set it. I'm gonna put my top on, close that thing up, and I'm just gonna let it cook. I am going to cook this one on high for six hours. Now, once that's done, I'm gonna grab my meal prep containers. I've just got my Glad containers here. I'm gonna lay those out to get ready to portion out all of my food. The first thing that I am going to do is I'm gonna put all the chicken in a bowl and I'm gonna shred it. This is just gonna make it easier for me to measure out. I do use a measuring cup for this because I like to know exactly how much. So I'm just gonna take two forks here and just finally shred up this chicken. The really nice thing about using the crock pot again is that it's gonna keep the moisture in the chicken and it's not gonna lose its flavor and lose um, its moist texture 
as it sits in the fridge as opposed to when I baked it before it's just it loses all moisture it's dry it's gritty I do not like that so now I'm just going to use a half cup to measure so that would be four ounces um, that's how much I want to have in my protein in my lunch so I'm going to measure that out and I am just going to put four ounces in each of my containers this is going to make six so I'm making 12 lunches total because I am prepping for my husband and myself. So I'm going to do six of these. Um, and then I'm going to complement it with some veggies. And then six will be salads. Now I have my chicken set up. I'm just going to put my steamed veggies in here. Uh, you can use any kind of veggies that you want. I like to get the ones that are in the steam bags. It just makes it easier. <laughs> So I am going to put about a cup of veggies in each one of these containers and put that right in there with my chicken. Again, um, with the chicken being shredded like this, it keeps everything really nice and moist um, and I really like it. It turns out well and it heats up well in the microwave. It's easy to grab and go, especially when my kids are screaming at me and they want their lunch um, and we're all hungry. So it just makes for a really, really easy easy um, option. It's also great because my husband can just grab one out of the fridge and take it to work. There's no worrying about prepping the night before or in the morning. It's all ready to go. Now I'm going to be making my salads. I like to use the divided containers for these. These are just some standard Ziploc containers. You can get them at just about any grocery store, uh, Walmart, Target. And I like to put the chicken in the second largest little spot there. I like to keep my greens and my chicken separated until I like to get them out to eat them. Um, that's just what I like. But anyways, I'm going to put four ounces in each of these little spots. And then I'm going to put my spring mix in here. In my experience, the spring mix holds up a little bit better um, than some of the other greens. So that's just my favorite. I got these from all these and they were on sale. So that was a double plus. I'm just going to finish up getting all of my greens in and then I'm going to grab some raw pine nuts and then I'm going to start slicing up some green peppers. I love green peppers and celery on my salads. They just give a great extra crunch and it's their great nutritional benefits from green peppers and celery. So I'm going to slice those up and get those into the other left spot. And then I'm going to be good to go on my salads. All right, and that is a wrap for my weekly lunch meal prep. I've got these babies all packaged up, ready to go. I have 12 lunches total. Thank you so much for watching, you guys.